Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to download the Hope Chest app that will help you in your family search and um, searching your genealogy and finding people that need um, ordinances done. So first, before you even start, you need to make sure you're using the Chrome web browser. You can't use Firefox or Internet Explorer. It has to be Chrome because it's an add-on to that browser. So once you're in Chrome and you're using Chrome, Go to Google, and you're going to Google Chrome Web Store. And once you're in, you go up to the top of the search. You're going to search for Hope Chest. And it's right there at the top. And over here, there's this green button. It's going to say Add to Chrome or free and once you do it it'll take just a few seconds and then it'll say added to chrome and and you're done with it so once you've got that added to your browser you go into family search and log in and i've already logged logged in so that's where we're at and what you if you notice up here there is the hope chest it wasn't there before and on some browsers, it might be right here. If it's not either place, you need to fix it and find it. To do that, you go to More Tools, Extensions, and you'll find it right there. So you need to enable it. And if it's not on your screen, just go ahead and click it, turn it off, and turn it back on. And then log back into your Family Search profile. And it should be there. So once you're there, you're going to go and find a person. I think today we'll go with my grandma. Let's go on this side. I'm just going to go all the way out as far as I can. And we're going to search the descendants all the way back to my grandma. Okay, so it looks like Richard Brown is the last one. So we'll go to his tree so that it highlights him as the per the person in focus. So you'll go up to your help chest, click on it. And since we're at the end, we're not searching ancestors, we're searching descendants. You'll click on that and it'll start searching. And over here I have one already going. And it just goes through all of the descendants, each kid and each brother and sister. It goes through all the families, so you're looking for your cousins, basically. And when it highlights something in green, that means they need ordinance work done. And so it'll go through the entire list and highlight the ones it needs and put it all in your inbox. And so after the search is done, what you do is you go up to your help chest. Let me switch back to this one. Go up to your help chest, click on it, and this brings up your list. So far I've done three or four searches today and I've found 309 people. How amazing is that? And all of these that are in blue are all the things that need to be done. So there's a whole list of work that needs to be done. So before I request um, and put these on my list and put my name on these, I'm going to go through and search each person and make sure they're not a duplicate. This program is pretty good at weeding out the duplicates and all the things that are reserved, but I'm just going to make sure so that we don't cause more problems. So you go in and see if there's a possible duplicate. No results found. And so you're good to go. And I, I hope this has been helpful. This is such amazing technology that helps you search all of your cousins and relatives how amazing is it? You never would have found them without this program. It's awesome. Good luck. Happy genealogy.